Hello everyone, Namaste. I'm Rajan Sarumagar, your English teacher. As it is being broadcasted by television and the radio, I try to use a very simple language so that everyone can understand what I'm teaching. Last time we had a discuss noun and its tribes. So today we will discuss about countable noun and its plural form. So let's start our class. So you can see uh, this side, countable noun and its plural form. You can see the slide. So we, uh, we are going to discuss about the noun and its plural form. So obviously while learning countable noun in its plural form, you will learn that how to change the singular countable noun into plural form. So here are some rules, then I will show you the rules that how to change the singular countable noun into plural form. So let's start. So first of all, let's have again the definition of countable noun. Countable noun is a noun which can be counted in a number. Example, boy, bus, parrot, these are the singular countable noun as example. Now let's start our class. How to make plural noun? See this. If there is s, ss, s at, c at, o, or x, letter or letters at the end of a singular noun, es is added to make plural noun. Es is added to make plural noun. Let me repeat it. If there is s, s s, s at, c at, o or x letter or letters at the end of a singular noun, es is added to make plural noun. Then now let's have example. You can see here, g l a s s glass. G L A S S glass. So you can see S S. These two letters are at last of this glass, you know, word. G L A S S. That's why we add E S to make plural, like glass, glasses, glass, glasses. Next word is bus. B U S bus. There is S at last. So we add E S and it becomes bus, buses. Buses is a plural. Next is a brands, B-R-A-N-C-H, C-H, B-R-A-N-C-H, brands. And we add E-S and it becomes branches. Brands is a singular countable noun and branches is a plural noun. Next is a dis, D I S H. So you can see S H letters. D I S H. And now we add E S and it becomes D I S H E S. This is. So these are the way how we change singular countable noun into countable. Do not forget this. If there is S S H S H C at O or X letter or letters at the end of a singular noun, ES is added to make plural noun. So we have example so you can see. Now next T O M A T O T O M A T O tomato. So last letter is O. So we need to add here ES and it becomes tomatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. So now let's have another example. B O X. B O X. X letter is there. So we add ES and now it becomes B O X E S boxes. Box, boxes. So this is how we formed singular noun into plural noun. Now let's have another example. Sorry, another rule. If there is F or F, if there is F or F letter or letters, 
at the end of a singular noun, F or FE is changed into BES. F or FE is changed into BES to make plural noun. So let's see the example. K N I F E knife. K N I F E F E knife. So now we are going to uh, make a plural noun of this word knife. So obviously, according to the rule, we need to change F E into B E S. We need to change F E into B E S. So now it becomes K N I B E S knife. And it's plural is K N I B E S knives. Knife, knives. Next is wife, W I F E, F E. So obviously, according to the rules, it becomes wife, wives, wife, wives. L E A F, leaf. You can say this side. L E A F, L E A F, leaf. So leaf, we are going to change this last. F letter into B E S and it becomes L E A B E S lives. Lif lives. And uh, same like that. C A L F calf. Calf becomes calves. And but some nouns take just S to be plural. Some noun, some nouns just take S to be a plural like belief so b e l i e f there is a f letter at last but according to the rules don't try to change the beliefs into uh, b e s f into b e s because some nouns just take s to be plural so i have uh, shown you here the some nouns having f or f e at last but it takes just yes letter like belief beliefs tiff tiffs Cliff, cliffs, proof, proofs, relief, reliefs, safe, safes, handkerchief, handkerchiefs. So just you need to add S after these word, after these nouns to make plural. So next, again, we are going to have another rule, and it is if there is a Y, if there is Y is last letter after consonant letter consonant letter means except a e i o u these five letters all letters are consonant so after consonant letter at the end of a singular noun y is changed into i e s to make plural noun let me sound this you know rule if there is a y as last letter after consonant letters at the end of a singular noun, Y is a change into IES to make a plural noun. So let's have a more clearance with example. You can see C O U N T R Y, country. So before Y, there is R. C O U N T R Y. Before Y, there is R. So R is a consonant letter. And now we are going to change this Y letter into IES. Now country becomes countries. C O U N T R Y, this country singular countable noun becomes C O U N T R I E S, countries. Next, lady, L A D Y, lady. And obviously, before Y, there is a D, and D is a consonant letter. So, Lady becomes ladies. Lady, ladies. Next, fly, flies, F L Y. We need to change the Y into I E S and it becomes F L I E S, flies. Fly, flies. But this is the rules. If there is a consonant letter before Y, but what will be? But if there is a vowel letter. Vowel letter means obviously you know A E I O U five letters. If there is a vowel letter before Y, S is added to make plural noun like T O Y, T O Y toy, and we need to add S, and it becomes toys. T O Y S toys. 
monkey m o n k e y and we need to add here s why we are going to add s here why not i e s because before y there is a vowel letter that is a e i o u there is e that's why we are going to add just s so it becomes monkey monkeys key keys donkey donkeys so let me now uh, take a help with take help of a whiteboard and let me show you the more example d o n k e y i think you can say it very well and another is l a d y so now see here let me repeat it y before y here is a d and the this d is a consonant letter consonant letter before y here is e e and this e is a vowel letter so according to the rule if there is a consonant letter before y then we need to change this y letter into i e s and it becomes y o l a d i e s ladies lady ladies but here is a e vowel letter is here before y that's why we are going to add just s and it becomes d o n k e y s donkeys so this is the difference do not get any confusion while changing the a uh, singular noun having y letter at last into plural so i have just shown you how to change next we have except those above mentioned rules generally s is added to make a plural noun like example tree trees house houses umbrella umbrellas car cars so generally in generally with this word we use just as letter to make plural noun except those rules but mobile mobiles girl girls okay but listen all of you some nouns have their one plural form some noun have their one plural form now let's say what are the nouns which have their one plural form like you can see this side example mouse mice if you add m o u s e mouse if you add s at last to make it a plural then that will be wrong because this noun mouse has its one plural form so mouse mice man men goods geese g o o s e goods its plural form is g e e s e you know geese tooth teeth omen we mean dear dear child children sheep sheep so these are the example of those noun which have their one plural form let me you know repeat it again mouse mice man men goods geese tooth teeth omen we mean dear dear child children sheep sheep so these are the noun you can find a more nouns also like this which have their one plural form okay so these are the rules that how to uh, you know make the plural noun to singular noun now how to form uncountable noun into countable noun uncountable noun means which cannot be counted in number like water well rice sand now we are going to learn how to make uncountable into countable with the help of words other words like uncountable noun can be formed into countable noun with help of word cluster now let's see what are the word cluster which can be used to make uncountable noun into countable like example you can see in the picture in the slide you can see a glass of a glass of a spoon of 
or plate of or bag of or packet of or pins of or sack of okay like this you can these are the word cluster with this word cluster you can use on countable noun and it can be counted like you can see the example a glass of water a glass of water can be changed into plural form like two glasses of water two glasses of water you can see in the slide also water this word has not been changed there is no any additions additional you know later just water is water what is additional there like glass has become glasses it's plural so once again glass a glass of water and plural is two glasses of water a spoon of a spoon of sugar two or some spoons of sugar okay a plate of rice four plates of rice a bag of money some bags of money a packet of well a pinch of salt so these are the way that we use some word cluster to make to use the on countable noun and we with the help of this word cluster we can make plural like i have shown you in the slide also a glass of water so it can be changed into two glasses of water or some glasses of water or you can add a more you know number like 3 4 5 glasses of water this is the way how we use after this we are going to use quantifier we are going to use quantifier quantifiers with countable and uncountable noun quantifiers like some a lot of a few lots of several both these are the quantifiers and quantifiers with the countable and uncountable noun now we are going to learn that how to use the quantifier with the countable and uncountable noun you can see first of all see quantifiers all some a lot of more lots of all some a lot of more and lots of after this quantifier if there is uncountable noun then we should use singular verb like you can see here each what will has had and verb five so these are the verb which can be used if there is uncountable noun after this quantifier and quantifiers are all some a lot of more and lots of let's have an example all water is dirty all water is dirty so all is there after all there is water water is uncountable noun that's why it there is it all water is dirty next some juice some juice was in the glass some juice was in the glass a lot of money will be a lot of money will be more milk has been ordered more milk has been ordered so lots of love had been good lots of love had been good all water follows all water flows so you can see there above five also so this is a quantifier with on countable noun and verbs so remember but now question is here what will be if this uh, in a quantifier come with plural countable noun countable plural noun then what will be about the verb so now let's see but what will be if these quantifiers are with countable plural noun then which verbs are used so let's see some all a lot of more and lots of then after if there is countable plural noun then we use are were will have had and verb one so let's have a example like you can see all books are good 
all books are good. Now, once again, let me show you. All water is good. Next, all books are good. So now you can see here, especially see the quantifier, all, all same. But after this quantifier, here is a water, which is uncountable noun. Here is a books. This is a plural countable noun. So that's why, according to the, this noun, we are, we are using, you know, bhav. Like this says uh, water. So that's why here is it. Here are book plural and here are it. Here is are. So all water is good. All books are good. Now let me show you more example here. Some boys were playing. A lot of workers will be needed. More bags have been ordered. Lots of apples had been sold and all students study well. So, so I hope that you have a learn here to use a buff if there is uncountable noun after quantifiers if there is you know uh, countable plural noun after this you know quantifiers i hope you have a learned now let's start another so i'm going to show you some quantifier i'm going to show you in the slide some quantifiers with which is used only with uncountable noun so you can see quantifiers with only uncountable noun like a much you cannot use this much word with countable or countable plural noun. So this much, less, little, or little, or great amount of, this can be used only with uncountable noun. So let's have example. You can see here. Much, less, Little or little or great amount of. After these quantifier, there should be only uncountable noun. Like, example, you can see, have much water. He ate less rice. Put a little salt. Ate a little sugar. I gave him a great amount of money. So money is uncountable. Sugar is uncountable. Salt is uncountable. Rice is uncountable. And water. So... Once again, let me repeat it. Much, less, little, all little, or great amount of, after this quantifier, only you should use uncountable noun. So here are other, you know, uh, quantifiers which can be used only with a uh, plural, a countable plural noun. Now let me show you. Here you can see. Quantifiers with only countable singular noun. So like each, every, one, this, that, another, a type of. After this quantifier, you need to use only singular, okay, countable singular noun. You need to use only singular noun after this quantifier, like each, every, one, this, that, another, a type of, a kind of. After this quantifier, you should use only singular noun. Like, you can see the example, countable singular noun. Now, let's see the example. Its book is expensive. Its book is expensive. So, you can see its, after this is, there is a B-O-O-K book and its. So, book is a singular noun. Its book is expensive. Every day is a special. One pain is there. This chair is mine. Another cat is jumping. She needs a kind of dress. So, so once again, let me remind you, after these quantifier, you should use only singular noun. Now, let's see other quantifiers. After that, we should use only with countable plural noun. Now, let's see. Like many, both, several, a few, a couple of these, those, after this quantifier, we should use 
countable plural noun. Let's have an example here. Countable plural noun. There are many players. There are many players. Both the tigers were hungry. She won several gifts. Several gifts. If you write after several only uh, gift, G I F T, then that will be wrong because after several, this quantifier you should use G I F T S, gifts, plural. I bought a few oranges. We saw a couple of doves. And last is those pencils have been sold. So these are the way how we use the quantifiers with uncountable noun, countable singular noun, and countable plural noun. Now let's have uh, some practice here. There each dot 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 rice in the plate. Options or many less. Or many less. Rice is uncountable noun. So what is the what is the correct or many less? So obviously you can you can guess that the answer is less. There is less rice in the fleet. Next is Suvas gave me dot dot books. B O O K S books. Plural. And option is a little, a few, or kind of. So you can guess. A little, this quantifier is used only with an uncountable noun. Or kind of, or kind of, this, uh, you know, quantifier is used only a singular noun. So what is the rest? Rest is a few. So obviously the answer is a few. Subhas gave me a few book. So here are, uh, you know, this example. He wants both. After both, obviously there should be countable plural nouns. So he wants both mobile mobiles or sugar so right answer is mobiles plural after both there should be plurals so thank you all of you for attending my class i hope you all have understood what i wanted to teach as i have uh, told you that i i have used i use very simple language so that all students can understand what i'm teaching so thank you very much stay safe stay happy thank you